Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I like creating videos that can help you make money online with digital products. And you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and, well, really just create a self-care journal. So you can either use it for yourself or you can sell it on some place like Amazon KDP. So either way, I want to show you why I chose a self-care journal and how I'm going to customize one to list myself uh, pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you can see I'm on the Amazon homepage and I knew that I wanted to make a self-care journal. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. And because I'm using the Helium 10 extension, um, it'll show you different related keywords that can help you create more of a long tail keyword and narrow down your kind of universe of keywords. And if you want to see, a, I guess, a longer tutorial of Helium 10, I'll leave a link to that right here. But as you can see here under self-care journal, um, this the search for this keyword is trending up and they're about 6,500 uh, in the last 30 days. Self-care journal for women is trending downward and so is self-care planner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with self-care journal and then see uh, what comes up. So it's about, about 3,000 results. And what I'm looking for are other non-sponsored uh, journals that come up to see whether or not it's a category that I can actually compete with. So I'm seeing this one, um, seeing that one, and this is not an ad. So I'm just going to click on it just to get an idea of what, what they've got going on um, because it seems to be selling well. So I'm going to click on that and see what the page looks like. And... Okay, so it's, yeah, it's a self-care checklist. Um, there are things reminding you to exercise and drink water and that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's not bad. I could read some reviews just to get an idea of what people are loving or not loving about the book so that I can either put those things or not put those things in my book. Um, this person said, I thought this would be more in line with the journal. Um, that's what they were looking for. This person said the journal is so cute, comes in handy. They like the journal. Okay, so a little video here. So all in all, the pages are more or less the same. There's a few quotes scattered all around. I'm trying to use this journal as often as I can. I like how it has bits for you to fill out in the morning, during the day, and in the evening, instead of just once a day. And the four people found that helpful. So reading the reviews gives you a good indication of some of the things that people are liking and not liking about similar books. So it's always a good idea to check that out. All right, so this is also uh, the journey to self-love, spiritual self-care. So these covers don't look too complicated and the interiors aren't too complicated either. So I'm gonna click on this little blue um, thing over here that'll take me to uh, Helium 10. And I just wanna show you why I chose to make a self-care journal to sell as opposed to maybe a different type of journal. And I'm going to go ahead and sort this by the number of sales um, in the past month. And you'll see that they're, that they're selling well. Um, Self-care journals are selling really well. Um, so let me see if I can find one of the ones that I saw. Spiritual self-care for black women. This one sells about 376 copies a month. And I'm trying to see if I can find that other one that I, this one is selling well about 98 per month so they're both doing both doing well so i click on that and it's just going to give me some keyword ideas but i already know that i want to do a self-care journal but i'm just showing you in case you have not seen uh, the helium 10 uh, platform before just to give you an idea of ways you can get keywords if so if you decide that you actually do want to sell it on amazon kdp and you want to know how to compete with the books that are already there, you can look on a, a, a tool like Helium 10. There are other tools also. Um, but if you do want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the description. You can um, check it out for yourself. But it gives you the keywords that are selling. I mean, that are, I guess, helping them get more sales. The ones that are used most frequently uh, here. And then it gives you a column here where it tells you how many sales were made using that particular keyword. So using self-care journal, 
there were 562 uh, sales using that keyword in the past 30 days. So that when I do create my listing on KDP, I can go back through this list, sort it by the score, and then for the ones that have the highest search volume and the lowest competition, I'll use those uh, keywords in my listing. All right, so um, that's Helium 10. And if you want to check it out, like I said, I'll leave a link for the, for the um, so I guess a full tutorial. So rather than create this whole self-care journal myself, I'm going to go to Creative Fabrica and see what they have um, in terms of interiors so that I don't have to start from scratch. Now, I don't want, I don't want to just pick one and then just use it entirely because there could be another book on KDP where they use one of these, um, you know, self-care planner templates entirely. Now I would hate for someone to buy the same book twice, not knowing that the interior is identical. But um, I just want to look and see what they've got. And they've got a bunch. Some are already formatted for KDP, which is helpful if you're doing it for that. Um, some of them are editable in Canva. So if you want to edit yours in Canva, that's helpful. Um, so I'm going to check this one out, the self-concept workbook, because I do want it to be you know, useful. I really want it to help people who may be um, struggling. Um, you know, I want it to be a helpful resource. So this one looks like it's more than just kind of repeating the same thing every day. So I'm going to download this planner, this bundle. And what I want to do to try to make it a little bit more unique is to um, kind of mix in another bundle. So they'll have that bundle. And then is this one a planner or is it just, let me see. It's a self-concept workbook. All right. So maybe I'll also look at this one, the self-care planner. And I'm not even sure if the pages are the same size right now. I'm just looking to see, to the coloring is so different. That'll be more work to try to customize it. Because I, at the end of the day, you want it to all look, you know, uniform. You don't want it to look like you stuck two different planners together. So I don't want one that has so many colors in there. Because I'm going to change it. So this one is more of a self-care planner. Um, size A4. I don't know what size the other one was. All right, well, I'm going to download it for now, just so you kind of get the idea of what I'm what I'm going for. All right, so I'm going to open up, um, I'm going to open up Canva first, and let's see. Okay, so I'm going to have to upload the PDFs, and this way I can customize them. Not sure which one is the actual interior. Let's see, maybe this is actually it may all be the interior, just broken down into different sections. So I'll probably go ahead and upload them all. So I'm gonna upload them all and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have them all downloaded. And what I'm gonna do now is go in, and I think they were all the same thing. Maybe just different sizes, because they're all 70 pages, so they're all different sizes. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and see what I have first. Let's see, and it's 70 pages, okay cover page which of course I will change that's cute okay so it gives you a bit of uh, introduction in the beginning which is nice um, of course I would take this out website 
and hopefully that's yeah that's on every page so i would delete that um i would read through here maybe change the images um okay this book okay this is about roy ballmeister okay and then you could just go through the different pages to see which ones you may want to keep which ones you may, may want to leave out um you can always change i think the font and all these if you wanted to change the messages themselves you could change that and just make it more unique so i would definitely do that some of the text is a little off so i would have to change that but that's definitely easier than starting from scratch um making this myself so i have no problem doing that i'll get that to go away and let's see yeah so i like this one because it's, it's more than just you know the same questions every day you can go through and actually work through a lot of these that's a workbook so i like this one okay so that is the first one and i just want to show you how i would and like i said i'm not sure what size is this 21 by 29 okay um i'm going to download some of these pages not all of them but i'm going to download some of these as um, pdf and i'm going to show you how you can combine you know different books to create one that's unique and you can do the same thing if you were doing you know children's activity books um and you want to you know put together different templates that you found from different sources how you can easily just kind of create one book um, you can use it you can do that using um, book bolt but if you don't have book bolt i'm going to show you how you can use it how you can do it without having book bolt all right this is the other one that i downloaded this has more of a self-care assessment worksheet and i think this would work well a you know, list of positive affirmations it would be a nice addition to the first book that i downloaded definitely but i would just like i said make it more cohesive make sure the colors are the same the fonts the fonts i don't think are too far off but the coloring may be a little bit off so i like i like yeah i like these two together so i think i'll work on making this one book i don't want to make it too long this is 46 pages the other one's 70. So I would probably put them together to make them about 110, 115 pages. But yeah, I think this would be a really helpful book if I put those two together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and download, just so you can see, a few of these pages too. Maybe the first, um, I don't know, first 10. I think I did 10 on the first one, so I'll do 10 more. And just download that okay so now I'm gonna to go to a site called I love PDF and I'm going to go to organize and all you have to do is I've done this in other videos too is just upload the files that you want to combine all right so I just have those two and then it puts them all in order for you and you can just simply let's say i want this to be the cover i move this here make that the second page um okay this is an assessment let's say i want to do the assessment and make that first um or i want to go back and no i want to do the the intro page first and then do the assessment after it's just an easy way to see everything in front of you um and you can organize different pages from different planners and then once you've done everything you want to do, all you have to do is uh, hit organize and you can download it all as one PDF, as one book. All right. So, you know, if that's helpful, try it out, especially, you know, it's good if you're doing activity books and you, you know, have mazes from one source. You've got Sudoku puzzles from a different source. You can put it in our PDF and just, you know, play around with it and you can see them all right in front of you. And it's, it's, it makes it really nice. All right, so that's it. Um, that's gonna do it for me. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things that I've done in this video, please ask me in the comments below. If you liked the video, if you learned anything new, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you subscribe to my channel up to this point,
thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So continue to keep watching. And until next time, peace.